The Senator from Vermont. Mr. President, uh, I will later on this morning be offering an amendment uh, which, frankly, in terms of dollars, is not one of the big amendments as part of the Military Construction and Veterans Affairs Bill, which is over $100 billion. This amendment is only $20 million. But while it, it is small in the amount of money that it deals with, it is enormously significant to the millions of men and women who have served our country in war, and it is especially relevant to disabled veterans, those people who have given as much as anyone can expect defending their country. The people without arms, the people without legs, the people in wheelchairs. It is for them that I am offering this amendment, and I am very pleased that this amendment has the support of the American Legion, the veterans of foreign war, the disabled American veterans, the paralyzed veterans of America, and AMVETS. Mr. President, the amendment that I am offering addresses an ongoing and an emotional concern within the veterans community. It is a concern that we in the United States government are nickel and diming veterans in an absolutely shameful way through the so-called round down process in terms of the checks that go to disabled veterans. Mr. President, some years ago, as a temporary budget band-aid, the Congress initiated the so-called rounding down of veterans' disability benefits and a few other categories of benefits that affect veterans, their spouses, and their children. Under this rounding down process, every year when we calculate the new disability benefits that, benefits that veterans receive as a result of their COLAs, the resulting amount is rounded down to the whole dollar. Let me give you an example of what I mean. A veteran receives a check, or should receive a check, every month for hypothetically $200.99. What we have done is say to that veteran, we are taking away every month that 99 cents and you're going to get a check for $200. Now somebody here may say, hey, 99 cents is not a lot of money. Multiply it by 12 months a year, you're talking about you know, less than $12 a year. What is the problem? Well, the problem is if you're a low income veteran, it does matter. But I think even more significantly than the dollars, what we are saying to that veteran who opens that check sitting in a wheelchair, we are saving 99 cents a month on you. But by the way, we are giving no bid contracts out in Iraq, which cost the taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars or perhaps billions of dollars. We're going to balance the budget on your 99 cents per month. So the amount of money that we're talking about here is not a whole lot. But symbolically, to thousands of disabled veterans, it really says something about how he, we in the Congress feel about them. We're saving 99 cents a month. Well, you know what? I think, I think we could afford to give them that 99 cents. For those guys in the wheelchairs, the people without one arm, the people who are blind, people who can't hear, people who are coming home from Iraq, with traumatic brain injury. Yeah, I think we can afford to give them that 99 cents, and that is what this amendment is about. It's going to cost all of $20 million, $20 million in a bill which is over $100 billion. Let me uh, just quote from the independent budget, and I think many members of the Senate know that the independent budget is the budget brought together by all of the major veterans groups. Uh, and this is what they say, they describe this process. And I quote from the independent budget. Disability compensation and dependency and indemnity compensation rates have historically been increased each year to keep these benefits even with the cost of living. 
however, is a temporary measure to reduce the budget deficit, a temporary measure, Congress enacted legislation to require monthly payments after adjustment for increases in the cost of living to be rounded down to the nearest whole dollar. And let's just, at end of quote, and let's just remind ourselves what kind of benefits we are talking about. Disability compensation benefits are benefits that veterans receive if they have a service-related disability and with, were discharged under other than dishonorable conditions. Furthermore, this rounding down applies to what is known as the clothing allowance. When veterans have prosthetics or orthopedic appliances such as a wheelchair, they understandably have a high chance of wearing down or tearing clothing at a faster rate than the average person. In other words, you're in a wheelchair, it rubs, your clothing gets worn down, you get help for that, we're rounding down those checks. So Mr. President, this is not a complicated piece of legislation. This is a piece of legislation that says to people who have done as a human being can do for this country, we are no longer going to continue to nickel and dime you. And I would hope very much that the members of the Senate will join me and the American Legion, the veterans of foreign war, the paralyzed veterans of America, the disabled American veterans and AMVETs in supporting this legislation. Mr. President, thank you, and I yield back my time.